Hello, uh, in this video uh, I will show you what I just learned uh, recently about adding multiple WAN provided by your internet provider um, and do SNET one to one to another device on your local network. Meaning, for example, you got five static IPs from your provider, public IPs, and you will be forwarding each of these IP to a specific uh, dedicated uh, server or computer uh, which will have its own LAN IP. Um, in this example, because it's my uh, lab setup, uh, it's gonna be actually using a, a local network to another local network uh, because the firewall uh, 40 gate is currently behind another router so we're doing a double nodding here uh, but the idea is the same uh, the only thing is that I'm not gonna be using the real public IPs and uh, you're gonna have to enter those uh, provided by you provided correctly into, into the system um, but I'm gonna be using it uh, for testing purposes and uh, I'm gonna be using it from my other router to firewall and then from firewall to uh, another uh, computers uh, connected to the firewall. So let's log in. Currently I'm using version 6.4.8 um, again, uh, to explain this, um, so my 40 gate has a static IP assigned uh, 192.168.100.180 and then the following remaining IPs are 181.182.183.184 which will be translated to a LAN device 181.182.183.184 so these devices have to have a static IP assigned in order to um, pass the traffic through and that is the LAN IP and on my router currently if you go to network interface and interfaces and then you can see my local LAN it's set to 192.168.10.1 so anything on 10.1 that will be connected to I will have four uh, virtual machines connected uh, and these will be the addresses um, so we have to go to interfaces and when and uh, we're gonna edit this rule and um, we're just gonna basically uh, most likely what you have is DHCP and we're gonna go to manual and we're gonna enter the first uh, primary public IP that you have it could be 51.10.6 whatever uh, the rent, the number is uh, whatever the provider provides you, and then you have to enter the subnet mask uh, address. In my case, it's two five five two five five two five five. You also get that information from your provider. Um, so this is the main first address uh, that uh, we start with. So if you have a block of five IPs, that will be the f the first one. Then if you want to add the secondary uh, third fourth and fifth IP address we have to enable the secondary IP address we have to create new um, interface here and then we're gonna enter 192.168.100.181 slash 255.255.255.0 these are options to enable access to your firewall from outside uh, however, I'm not gonna be using this um, uh, for these specific IPs. I'm gonna be using it only on the primary one, so you don't have to enable anything here. You just hit OK. We're gonna have to uh, repeat this procedure 192.168.100.182 slash 255.255.255.0. I'm going to copy this so I don't have to enter that. Hit OK. That is a 181.182. So again, that will be your public IP. So whatever the IP you're going to get, you're just going to enter these. 
create another one. We're going to change this to a 3. Okay, and the last one, which we'll be using four IPs in this case for four VM machines. And that's going to be four. All right, so we added all these IPs. Now, we just have to uh, make sure that it's enabled. And we're just going to hit OK. The next thing you have to do is basically go to static routes and enter your gateway here. So I already have entered, but you would create create new uh, create new gateway here and then that would create uh, this is uh, required for static IPs. If you have DHCP enabled you don't need that. Uh, so you click edit um, and then all you have to do is just enter your gateway in here. So you get that information provided from you um, ISP provider, you have to choose when again, make sure it's enabled and hit OK. That will allow you to get the internet traffic routing to your device. Now, um, basically what we have, we have all these interfaces added. Um, so what we have to do is um, add uh, policies now. And in policies, we have to create virtual IPs. Virtual IPs are the machines that are going to be connected on your LAN, uh, on your firewall LAN. So whatever devices you're connecting to your uh, uh, 40 gate firewall using your local LAN, these will be the devices. So we have to assign the static IPs again. Uh, so what we're gonna do is go to virtual IPs. As you can see, I already entered two of those before. So what we're gonna do is create an IPv4 rule. And uh, in that case, you have to just name it. So let's say VM183, um, or you can call it whatever you want, like the server 180, or you can call, uh, uh, you know, like the entire IP number. I'm gonna call the, the last IP address uh, in here. So VM183 interface, we're gonna have to change it to WAN because the um, traffic is coming from WAN. And uh, the external IP, again, that will be your public IP, okay? In that case, this is the 83. So um, I'm using 192.168.100.183, but you will have whatever the number you get from the provider that will be, in my case, that will be the third, uh, fourth one. This is the first one, second, third, fourth, and fifth. So this will be the fourth one, okay. Now we have to uh, choose which device is it connecting to. Again, um, my local LAN is this, so I'm just gonna copy this information and it's 192.168.10.183. So this will be routed from this outside to this IP. Now, some additional information here. If you want to forward all the ports, meaning all available ports uh, from outside to the machine, you're all set. You don't have to do anything else, enable anything. If you, for example, running a uh, Linux server and you want to just SSH access to it you would just click this port forwarding and you would type in let's say 22 map to 22 that would forward only that specific uh, port um, and open up everything else would be closed only that specific port would be open now um, if you want all the ports all you have to do is just uh, disable all these two and hit OK and then all the ports are forwarded from uh, external IP to the internal IP so you have to manage uh, open ports on your device because everything will be open. However, um, in my case I like to have a little bit more control over it and uh, um, I have a group of IPs, let's say 22, 80, 443 and so on. Um, so I would like to create a group of ports, then you can click this optional filters and then enable services and then you would click and choose um, either the specific uh, ports 
uh, or you can create groups. So basically what you would do, um, uh, let me just show you, I'm going to disable this, I'm going to hit OK for now. So we're going to go to um, services. In here, you would create the rules. Let's see if we have uh, we have 21, 22. Okay, we got uh, different ports. But if you if you have like custom ports, you would create first a port. Okay, to add a custom port, we're gonna click create new service. Over here, we're gonna call this custom five nine zero one. You can enter a comment if you want. Uh, and we can assign a category if it's an email file access or in my case uh, hosting uh, which I use Plesk so I'm gonna enter that in Plesk ports and we're gonna change this to uh, TCP you can change that to UDP um, and we put a port number 5901 if you want a range you can type in the second number here for example 5905 uh, that range will be assigned to this custom uh, port rule and uh, that's how you can create a range uh, in our case we're only creating a one port and it's gonna be TCP once you enter all that information all you have to do is hit OK now in ports we should have in our group plus ports it's custom 5901 Okay, so um, in this case, we would create um, a group. Once you create the group, we call this, let's say, hosting website. And then uh, you can include the ports, let's say, HTTP, HTTPS, uh, FTP, IMAPS, whatever you want to add to it. You can create or you can create the uh, specific ports uh, in the page before and then you can add them to a list. Once you have them, let's say uh, this will be your like, um, let's see if we have, okay, SSH. So we have the main web hosting ports uh, entered here. We hit okay. So our group is created, but if you need additional ports, you just create them in here. Once you create the ports, you go back to your virtual IPs, and then you go to specific uh, uh, IP, virtual IP uh, service here, and then you hit edit. Then you can click. Instead, you know, in port forwarding, you can only port one port. Uh, so if you have a range of ports, you would click services, uh, and then you would uh, choose um, groups in here. So you have hosting websites. This is the group we created. It's in groups. I got five groups right now. So this is the group I just created. And it has, as you can see, if you hover over, it's got four different ports in here. And then you would click OK. In this case, only these four ports will be open from outside and forwarded. To this uh, device okay so we're gonna create one more virtual IP and VM 184 we're gonna change it to when your external IP and internal one Okay, I, I want all the ports, so I'm going to leave it and hit OK. All right, so once this is done, uh, the next thing we have to do is uh, go to firewall policy. And in the policy, uh, when to land, we have to add these groups in here. So we're just going to select that and we're gonna edit okay 
and what we have to do in destination we have to add the remaining 183 and 184 and we're gonna hit apply now we have 181 182 183 184 um, and that is it you know now we should have all the traffic routed from outside to inside now we have to create uh, uh, VMs or connect computers assign these specific IP addresses that we had uh, assigned it to like in this case it's 10.184 10.183 10.182 one and the traffic will be forwarded from outside to inside and uh, depending on the rules um, you can have either all ports or just specific ports open. Uh, again, this is for my own references. Uh, so in the future, I don't forget. I can go back to that video and look it up. But if someone finds it useful and uh, it's working for you, please let me know. I'll be glad uh, to help you out as well. Thank you so much and you guys have a great day.